Hello world, oh, this is Wolfstar Games, and welcome back to more The Quarry. Last time we started up the game and we met most of the characters, though I'd say with the main group of characters, you know, the teenagers at the camp, I'd have to say that they are pretty uh, interesting, a couple of them uh, being pretty colorful. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I have to admit that with Caitlin, she, I think, is going to be my most favorite. I mean, I tend to really like characters who are like fast talkers and very smart. And she seems to fit that bill perfectly. And with, and with Jacob, you know, with him being like the comedian of the group, I tend to really like the comedian of the group. Uh, I mean, it was like the same with uh, Chris on in Until Dawn. It's like he's very much like Chris in the beginning of the game, you know, being the kind of the goofball. And it, <laughs> I mean, his whole, you know, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> was just too funny. It's like that's still stuck in my head. <laughs> But anyway, uh, I'm already really liking this game so far, and we're not even that far into it yet. Okay. It's like, who is going to kill someone here? I mean, isn't someone looking through? Yeah, a sniper gun. Who are these guys? <sighs> oh, that's Lance Hendrickson. Uh, why are you lathering yourself up with blood? Oh my god. Oh, I didn't even notice how you were all slathered with blood. Jesus. <laughs> Way uh, more so than his what are they, father and son hunting season. All right. They aren't planning on hunting us, are they? Uh... I was hoping you'd come back to me. Well, I would eventually. Let's see what you found. Empty handed. You need to look around you, find my cards, and I can help you. Where I'm from, we look out for each other. Find them, please. Okay, I will. Can I pet your bird? Is it friendly? You'd better be going. It's still early and the moon is bright, but time won't wait. Not for those with a story to tell. Be careful. Look out for yourselves. And look out for my cards. I will. Hmm. She's interesting. I'm not sure what to make of her yet. I, I guess... I guess she would be known as the fortune teller? What with the tarot cards and... Truth or dare? What with the tarot cards and the crystal ball? General store. Uh, chapter one. So here we are, stranded in the great American wild with nothing but our wits to guide us. Will humanity prevail, or will we grow ravenous and resort to eating the flesh of the deceased like I saw in that one plane crash movie? Uh, yeah, hopefully not that. First course, filet au Jacob. <laughs> what? Rich and full-bodied, this rare beefcake may leave an irritating taste lingering on the palate. Oh my god. An acquired taste, <laughs> some would say. Is he picking the lock? Wow. What? 
looks like you're trying to thread a needle with a packet of loose sausages. Oh my god, I'm almost done, okay? <laughs> Jesus Christ. And for the record, your analogies are very hurtful. And questionable. Okay, I'm almost there. One second. How good are you at this kick door? Uh, why not? Yeah! Whoa! And scene. <laughs> oh, I mean, I could have kicked it. Yeah. You loosened it for me. She just TJ hookered her. <sighs> okay. So, if I were a beer, where would I be hiding? In the fridge. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> What Beep. are you doing? Beep. He's a peer detector. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's my beer dar. Helps me dar for beers. Huh. How am I just noticing how super lame you are? What? But it, it's my beer dar, dude. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> go over here. Wow, the kids really wiped this place out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Looks like it. Mr. H loved his accessories. I mean, like I said, goofball. It's like, <laughs> and you know, not to not to mention his banter with Caitlin was is so funny and so good. It's like I I, I want more of that. Maybe I can get Jacob and Caitlin together. I think it's locked. You know Don't know what I was expecting. <laughs> For it to open. Oh. Oh, hell yeah! <laughs> oh! Jackpot! Hey, uh... Check out my giant melons. Oh. See, you just cut a hole in it. Mm -hmm. You pour in your vodka. It's party time. You just oh, you pour you the vodka right in it. Yeah, it's the most fun you could have with a hole in watermelon. Or, well, second most. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna leave you two alone and go look for some more party supplies. It's like, it's like leave Jacob alone with his uh, with his melons. <laughs> well, well, uh, well. Emma takes care of her own melons. I know that sounded wrong, but I could resist. <laughs> what exactly are we looking for again? What's our objective? Find party supplies. That's it. Can't look at the t-shirts. Anything over here? No? Oh, something here. What do we have here? A cage. That's in the cage. Let's see if there's anything in here first. Anything, anything else to examine other than that uh, door to the cage? Doesn't look like it. The whole other uh... we are being watched, and I don't like that. There's a lot to this storeroom. Jeez, very big storeroom. Let's, what do we got here? I <laughs> Hello, old mask. friends. Oh, yeah. And, and a fake spider. <laughs> I have to. Can't pass up an opportunity like this. Okay. Have y'all ever seen a grown man crap his pants? Because you're about to. Oh my. 
All right, now where should I hide? Good question. Uh, where can we hide? Jacob! Emma? <laughs> Oh, well. she called them. <laughs> like if you're trying to scare me, it's not gonna work. You so sure about that? <laughs> ah! You're not scared of clowns? What? No, they're they're funny. You think this is supposed to be funny? Oh, that's an evil clown. I mean, yeah. <sighs> wow. Not exactly Pennywise. You think it's funny now, little boy. Oh my god. I. Oh, because. You want to join twenty of my sexy clown friends in a tiny car that somehow fits us all like it's no big deal? I. Is that a euphemism? I. Yeah. What? Moment's gone. <laughs> Not forgotten. Well, it was a nice try, Emma. But we were unsuccessful. Darn it. <laughs> oh, I can still I can still examine this. Take, uh, take the uh take spider. No? No? Oh come on. I mean that's where the Beer would be, I th yeah, cold fresh. That's where the beer would be, but there's obviously no beer here. This is a summer camp for kids. Come on. <laughs> Man, there is so 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 little in this place. I wonder where this goes. Let's see. Should we TJ Hooker it again? Or <laughs> should we call Jacob to try and open it? Uh, uh, I mean, we didn't exactly let Jacob try and pick the lock, so I'll let, I'll let Jacob have his uh, moment to shine Jacob! Here. Come check this out. Oh, uh, alrighty then. Door, buckle up because you are about to meet your maker. Is he trying to be the mask there? Done. Nice. <laughs> Whoa. There we go. Whoa. The fucking mother loud. Good golly, Miss Molly. Mm. I wonder he kept this place locked up. Do you think he'll be pissed when we made a stash? What? No. I mean, he oh, left us stranded here. It's like, um... <clears throat> human rights, or... Whatever. Sure. Yeah. Alright. Now let's see what we are working with. Hold that. The door will latch otherwise. <sighs> okay, I guess I oh. got the door. Hell yeah! <clears throat> In and out. Job done. Boom. I want to look around. Go for it. Okay. You get to look around. It's like, at least Jacob let Emma have that. We'll just look around. Empty box. Why was that an option? Some. Cold, some cold foods here. I feel like I should be able to open this, but I can't. What's in here? Can't really make anything out. What do we got here? Jacob, check this out. What? I can't move or else the door will latch. They look like camping supplies. Oh, okay. Hmm. Um. There's tents back at the fire pit, so just let's let's go. Did a bear do this? 
torn bags. Torn hiking bags. Dashed with flecks of dried blood. Wait. Do these belong to Laura and Max? I feel like they I feel like they have to. Huh. What's over here? Oh, cool. What? What is it? A gun. Oh, cool. And a uh, code. What's with the code? Hmm. Okay, okay, Laura Croft. I'm done. <laughs> she has the physique of Laura Croft anyway. Okay, well, I'm armed now. I don't know how I feel about that. What do we have on these shelves? What is it? Va vampire... Vampire Bites? Is that what that says? Vampire bites? What kind of food is that? Grain? Oh, no, wait. Brain. Excuse me. Brain. Brain. I can't quite make out the second word. It looks like some cheese balls there? Um, a more... Melons. <laughs> okay, well, I, I think that's everything. Oh. So you're, uh, you're really gonna keep the gun, huh? Yeah, for bears. Okay, uh, well, I am gonna find something to haul this lot back to camp. Hmm, okay. Well, let's go back over this way and... Oh, wait a... Yeah. Let's go back this way to... Open up that... Oh, wait. Wait a minute. Huh. Oh, that was locked. Well, uh, I I guess now that's unlocked. <laughs> okay. Well, I I assume that's it. There isn't really much in here. Well, let's go, Jacob. All right. I'm in. Hey, very nice. <laughs> Of course, the, the numbers that she found is the code for the safe. Oh, my camp updated camp store. We're proud to stock a range of treats and snacks for our campers to enjoy their stay at Hackett's Quarry, not to mention the ingredients for our healthy meals prepared by our counselors in the lodge kitchen. There, there are a lot of locations. It makes me wonder what uh, what all uh, kind of locations there are. Anyway. What else is in there? Uh, just some fireworks. W oh, fireworks? Yeah, but I don't think we should... No, 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 Emma. Fireworks. Take or leave the fireworks. Um, I, I, I almost feel like that's a bad idea. That would be like, a giving, giving whoever is hunting us an opportunity to like, come and hunt us down while we're having fun. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, 
What the heck? We'll, we'll take the fireworks. You know, you're right. Fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 hell yeah. Fireworks. Oh, um, and might I just add, um, fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jacob's I found these, headed. like, torn up bags back there. They were pretty messed up, and I think they might have had blood on them. Oh, oh, stop. Stop. Stay right there. <sighs> oh, dude! Peanut butter butter pops! Dude, peanut butter fucking butter pops! Hmm. What are butter pops? Or aren't those for kids? I mean, I'd say Jacob is very much a kid at heart, so. Uh, I mean, what are butter pops? What are butter pops? <laughs> no. What? I can't believe it. Um, okay. Um, <clears throat> pop, pop, peanut butter, butter pops. <laughs> pop, pop, pop them in your mouth. Pop. Oh my God. They're like the greatest snack of all time. What are they? Are they like popcorn? What? No, 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 no. They're nothing like popcorn. They're like their own thing, like their own subgenre of food snack. All you right. Know I haven't had these since I was a kid. You are in for such a treat. Okay, wait, is there an expiration date on that bag? Um, no, they're still good. Oh my God, they're like 20 years old, aren't okay. they? Okay, look, they predate expiration dates. Blah. Well, you're gonna love them. Blah. <laughs> Blah. <laughs> Blah. <laughs> well. <clears throat> I saw a wheelbarrow out front, so we can load up all our booty in there. Uh, I'm sorry, what? Booty? Oh, it means like, um, like treasure or buds. <laughs> <laughs> no, before that. Wheelbarrow? Uh, yeah. Um, okay. Uh, it's like, um, it's like a barrel with wheels. You can put stuff in it and just wheel it around. Oh, I see. Does she seriously not know what a wheelbarrow is? <sighs> Ladies first. Mm. Yeah. How chivalrous, thank you. Which way? It's like that that little dance and song that he did with the butter pops. Was that supposed to be like the jingle for them? Like the commercial for them or something? Because that was funny. All right, the inner sanctum. It's just an office. This is where the magic happens. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's just make this quick. Sure, just give me a sec to get this going. And engage. Oh, Podcasts. Charging the phone. Yeah. All right. Let me guess. Or what are you listening to now? Uh, what are you listening to, do, to now? Uh, what's it called, the one that you're listening to right now? Uh, Bizarre Yet Bonafide. So like ghosts and stuff? It's like, um, yeah, like the, the weird and the wonderful, digging up weird mysteries and discussing if they're, well, bonafide. <laughs> hmm. Bonafide. Get it? Butter. <laughs> that was Your wit knows no bounds. So, should we check out what Mr. H keeps in his private den of sin? Uh, I don't know, man. I feel a little weird going through his stuff. That's weird. Uh, I, I pause it and he just keeps talking. Um, I was about to say, uh, or lack of wit... Oh, that's right, my path to updated. Playing with fire. A Rick Blanco movie. Hmm. Uh, going out with a bang. Loud bangs, heart-stopping cracks, and kaleidoscopic hues. When the world rains color and light, it might frighten those who hide in the dark. <laughs> it's like, uh, I, I felt like that was... An appropriate 
way to read this. Okay, well, I don't. I mean, okay, well, I don't. I mean, come on, what kind of dirty secrets is the owner of a summer camp full of impressionable young children going to have anyway? <laughs> Not Mr. H, I know. He's cool. It's always been cool to me. I mean, he did, he did, uh, saddle him with being, uh, the leader, but all the same, Ryan thinks that, uh, Chris, Mr. Hackett, wh whichever you want to call him, is a nice guy, a cool, nice guy. Oh, there's a trap door here. I feel like I sh should examine that last. Family photo. Family photo. Uh, a younger looking camp leader, Chris Hackett, uh, with his two kids, Caleb and Kylie. They look happy. Kaylee and Caleb Hackett. Weird kids, huh? I like them. Yeah, me, I, me too. Um, they are pretty reclusive, you have to admit. Hmm. I mean, everyone is weird in their own right. I mean, Dylan here is weird with his uh non-wit at least that's what i want to call it well look at this old thing hey give me your number i want to try it out why a humor um so i can ask you on a date <laughs> or nice for somebody to call you uh so I could ask you on a date. <laughs> uh, so that I can ask you out on a date. Uh, mm, smooth. I think if I tried a cell phone number on this thing, it would just explode. Uh, hello? What? What? Who is it? Okay, uh, that, that was a little creepy. It's weird. I thought I heard someone. Uh, maybe you should have asked them out on a date. Damn it, I missed my shot. It sounded like a girl's voice. Hmm. What do we got over here? Lock Yo, my guy. Toss me the keys. Uh, so you can poke around in Chris's private area? I, I'm sorry, is that something that only you're allowed to do? Hardy har har. <laughs> Come on, what's the harm in looking? It's, you're not a little bit curious. I'm not gonna touch anything. Fine. Don't let me regret it. Can't promise that, but. God dang it. I beefed it. I keep beefing it. It's like seriously. I play sports. Uh, you know, me in the same boat, Dylan. Same here. Huh. Hmm. Well, before before I actually look in here, there was this. Hey, what's the gun for? Uh, Chris, Mr. H told me it was for um, bears. Bears here? Yeah, yeah. He said they don't really come around because he's got the gun. To yeah. Yeah. Just leave it alone. Just leave it alone. It's like Ryan's a very responsible guy. At least that's at least that's what it feels like with him. What if we need it, or what if bears crash the party? <laughs> I mean, I, I feel like Dylan is kind of like a, a kind of playful kind of guy, but he, he's also he also comes across as a bit of a dick. Uh, 
then again, you know, with these games, these type of games, I find that the dicks eventually warm up to me. That kind of sounded wrong. <laughs> Dude, we're going to be out partying in the woods tonight, all right? What if the bears try to crash? Okay, it's it's like my mom always said. If you want to party, you got to bring protection. <laughs> well, I think that she was talking about condoms. Yeah. I'm not going to fuck a bear. <laughs> <laughs> the most dangerous thing I've seen in these woods is a pissed off squirrel. That sounds pretty scary. Okay, fine. Well, we know where the gun is if we need it. Yeah. Your call, man. I mean, you know, squirrels can be pretty... can be pretty nasty. I mean, there's that whole other room. Maybe I should examine this now. Well, hello. What is this? You hear that? Is that a trap door? <laughs> sure is. What's under here? Secret sex tension. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I don't think it's that. I guess it goes to the basement. I mean, I kind of want to keep being playful as Dylan. It's like, and Ryan seems to kind of like it. <laughs> I knew that there was a secret sex dungeon around here somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bet you Mr. H is into some real kinky shit. Uh, <laughs> I doubt it. Weren't there a couple of counselors who never showed up? Uh-huh. Why? Secret sex dungeon. Yeah, it's not funny. It probably just goes to the basement <laughs> or something. Open it up. Oh my god. All right, well, it looks like a pit of eternal darkness, so... You're being dramatic. Climb down, take a look. Look, you can squeeze through there. You opened it, you climb down. I mean, should we go down here? Hmm. It's like, I want, I want to know what's down there. I mean, I am so curious. It's like, why does he have a trap door in his office? I'm climbing down. <laughs> oh, path chosen. I may be being a little reckless, but... What's down you know, there? Oh my god, Ryan, you will what? not believe this. What, what, what? It's nothing. Oh. I had you go in there for a second, didn't I? No. Maybe. <laughs> Just shut up. <laughs> it is uh, pretty spooky down here, though, and it smells very unnatural, so... <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm coming back up. I've updated. Okay, so... Playing with fire updated. Oh. Well, that didn't update. Huh. Watch your step. Dylan opened the trap door in Chris's office. Ryan loosened a rung on the ladder. Oh. Charlie Scott film, watch your step. Find your footing or lose your life. When in, when each step taken is a step toward the sunrise, it can be treacherous to follow in someone else's footsteps rather than carve your own path. Ooh, that's a nice chair. I could get used to this. You better hope Mr. H doesn't catch you taking his baby out for a joyride. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
uh, ring, ring, or he'll never know. <laughs> I mean, he he is so playful. It just it just so so is so very fitting for him. I mean, why? I just want to be keep ring playing. Ring a ding a ding. Oh, sorry, bud. Got to take this one second. Hello, Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. What can I do for you on this darn tootin' doozy of a day? Is that your impression of Mr. H? Uh, yeah, uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, I- you're absolutely right, he does need to be nicer to Dylan. And, uh, what's that? You want him to give Dylan his phone number? That's a little forward, but I can see what I can do. Smooth. <laughs> I do kind of want to know what, uh, what this is doing to their relationship with with me making Dylan be playful with Ryan. It's like, what, I mean, Ryan seems to like it. I mean, he's he's not like, you know, stop it. I I don't I don't like this. You know, so it it seems to be fine. Oh, Laura Kearney and Max Sprindley. Oh yeah, those are the ones that never showed up. Yeah, it's because of these goobers that we had to work extra shifts this summer. Counselor's Ledger. A list of counselors' names, personal details, and their tasks at camp. Two names are crossed out, Laura Kearney and Max Brindley. Why didn't they show up? Well, I know why, but of course they don't. I'm sure they'll learn in due time. Uh, let's see. Back in here what have we got in here fashion icon <laughs> mr h knows what he likes <laughs> sure he does wow there's yo wow. hey hey maybe we shouldn't oh -ho. uh brian passage hidden room Whoa, what the fuck? These monitors, this is the camp. Huh. Is Mr. H spying on us? No, no. I mean, I no, no, he can't be. These are just, they're all different trails in the woods around camp. <laughs> sure. I mean, with how paranoid he was and trying to get them all to leave, I have a feeling that this room exists and with all these monitors that he's keeping track of whatever is out there, like hunting people down, scaring people or whatever it is. I mean, I, that's what I think anyway. But of course, they wouldn't think that because they don't know what's out there. Most of the cameras are pointed away from camp, so it's not like he's spying on the kids unless they wandered out into the woods. You know, these are just probably just trail cameras. What are trail cameras? People set them up to catch weird, random shit. Okay, yeah, like what? <laughs> like yeah. uh, Bigfoot sightings, you know, that kind of thing. I, I'm not sure about that, but... <laughs> so he was looking for Bigfoot... Or maybe he listens to that podcast? Uh, I mean, maybe he does. We don't really know that. Hmm. Interesting. I didn't know that Mr. H was into that kind of stuff. Shit, maybe he likes that podcast that you listen to. Secret hobby, I guess. Expensive hobby. Yeah. Well, yeah. What else are you going to do out here? 
Yeah, I guess camp probably does get pretty lonely when there's no one else around. Yeah. Okay, but why go through all the trouble of hiding this room through a secret door in the closet? Uh, I mean, it's not exactly secret, right? Like, it's just hidden by stuff. Yeah, that's what a secret is, Ryan. Yeah. It, it's weird. It's major league yeah, weird. I don't disagree with you, but... it's It's got to be something juicy in here. Dylan, okay. it's it's none of our business. And if you really want to know, you can ask him tomorrow. I'm sure, that won't be an awkward conversation, like, at all. <laughs> okay, yeah, maybe I will. All right. I, I'm leaving this secret layer. Have fun. Hey, you just admitted that it's a secret layer. <laughs> Very interesting. I, I can still examine this. It also has a microphone on the desk. Maybe he does Let's Plays. <laughs> and one monitor ha has that... What was that? Oh! Probably nothing. That was one of those two guys out there, wasn't it? And why does one monitor have the, you know, that test pattern uh, thing on it? What do we got here? Huh. Postcards? Oh, oh. Max Brindley, Hackett Square Summer Camp. And Laura Kearney. What are the other two? Oh, that... These... These are like letters from their parents, aren't they? Oh, man. Oh, the map of the whole place. Okay. Anything else? That seems to be it. Okay. Well, this was interesting. Let's see, let's go into room number one. Ah, guitar! I learned how to play the guitar briefly when I was in high school. I didn't stick to it very much though. That seems to be the only thing in this room. Yeah. Okay. What? What is this shirt of? Whoa, there's some pretty heavy duty stuff in here. Yeah, maybe let's not touch that. Yeah, there's nothing fun. Medications? Okay. Wow. Yes. Uh, yeah. Right here. So, got anything going on when you get back home? School or? Uh, jury's out. Mm. Understood. Girlfriend? Uh, not exactly. Boyfriend? Free agent. Cool, yeah. Me too. Are the uh, phones... Done charging? Oh, uh, yeah, probably. You want to check? Oh, let's just give him another minute or two, just to be sure. 
I mean, they haven't been charging for very long. Like, where are they sitting exactly? Oh, they're right here. Okay. Nice. Full up. Um... I've looked at everything, so I guess head to party. And they're not, uh, and the phones aren't exactly fully charged. Hey, Dunzo. All right, cool. Let's go. Thank you. It'd be a lot easier with Mr. H's chainsaw. It's really very pretty out here when there's no kids around. Yeah, they can get kind mm -hmm. of obnoxious, huh? Yeah. <laughs> they always seem to listen to you during painting class. You've seen my class? Just walking by. <laughs> the art cabin's all the way out of the way. Yeah, well, there's this shortcut that I take that goes by. Hmm. Which way should we go? Why don't you choose? <laughs> Shady Glade or Rocky Road? Not entirely sure here. Hmm. And I, I'm just now noticing that Nick has an accent and I'm trying to place it. Uh, it sounds kind of British but I'm not entirely sure if it is British <laughs> um, he could be Australian well okay shady glade or rocky road let's go with shady glade let's go this way Whoa! Oh! Oh my god, are you okay? I'll be okay. <laughs> Come on, I'll spot you. Take it easy, does it? They really are sweet on each other, aren't they? I'm just taking in the music here, this song. I I like it. It's like so so far I'm liking the music in this game. Well, let's see. Where where are we heading? Is there something over there? There looks to be something over here. Uh, I guess it was the sun reflecting on the tree. But it looked like something was over here. Now what's this here? Looks like a trunk. What do we got here? I think it's a ranger box. Oh. Huh, ranger box. A box in the woods. Unlocked inside is a change of clothes, bottled wa water, and supplies. Provisions for a ranger, perhaps. Do these woods even have a ranger? What the heck? Why is there an exclamation mark next to a locked clue? I'm so confused. Like a supply cache for rangers or whatever if they're out in the woods. 
naked ranges? <laughs> so it would seem. <laughs> Just what we need, a nude ranger. Hopefully it's a girl. If I'm not mis if I'm not mistaken, I believe Abigail is uh played by Ariel Winter. Oh. Waterfall. I mean kind of waterfall. Okay. There's a prompt here. Come on. There we go. So where does the stream actually go? The lake. Oh, yeah. Duh. <laughs> okay, that, that, that was kind of pointless. <laughs> where are we heading exactly? Oh, there's a bridge. Maybe we should go towards the bridge. God, I, I feel like I, I could spend a lot of time just in this area to see if I could find any clues like that ranger box. Oh, what's down this way? I think we're back near the path again. I know where we are. Yeah? Up here. Here, hold these. Sure. <sighs> this view is just... Wow. You gotta sketch it. Never the artist. She's, she, she becomes so intense when she's drawing, doesn't she? <laughs> I mean, uh, you're really good or do me. <laughs> oh boy, context game, context. Uh, should I be playful? <laughs> do I dare? given the context of this. <laughs> Ooh. Do me. Oh, sorry, I'm, I'm just trying to get this down. Right. Sorry. Dumb idea. I just want to finish this. Take your time. Did you hear that? Hmm? I heard that. It's probably nothing. No, listen. There's something there. Oh, <laughs> It's a baby <gasps> pig! Oh, It's so tiny. <laughs> so cute! <laughs> oh, oh my god, he's so cute! So Oh. Hold on. Hold on. There's something else out there. Save Abby. Save Abby. <laughs> Whoa. Ugh. Okay, that's a big pig. Oh, don't breathe. You're in danger. Hunted by a creature of indeterminate origin. Don't breathe. You need to stop breathing, tricking the beast into taking you for nothing but a corpse. 
And where's the fun in hunting then which is already dead? Watch right. the visuals alter or listen to the sound change as the threat approaches. When the danger is past, run. Pick the right moment and run for your life. Be warned. Exhaling or running at the wrong time may just mark you as the creature's quarry. Causing ah! serious consequences. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well. Be gone, be big pig. Be gone. <laughs> Ooh. What? Oh, okay. That was different. Jeez. That was close. Thing almost just mowed me to death. Oh, little piggy hog. <laughs> piggy hog. <laughs> uh, imagine the story. <laughs> or it's actually a boar. Oh, is it actually a boar? And not uh, and not just a pig? I mean... I mean, according to the Chinese Zodiac, I'm, I'm a boar. Uh, let's see... Uh, imagine the story. At least we gave her a good story to tell her pig husband. <laughs> How do you know it was the mommy pig? I got a pretty good look. Ew! I think she was coming on to me. <laughs> <laughs> got yourself a little girlfriend. She wasn't that little. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> But that that was a big pig. I, actually, I, I've actually seen a really big pig before. Um, it at surprisingly at work, I, I I was helping a customer, and in the back of their trailer was this really big pig that they had. And it was a sweet pig, too. It's like a, just a sweetheart of a pig. Guess we should head back. Oh, my nose is itching. Eh. <laughs> Uh, to Caitlin. What's going on with Caitlin? <sighs> Finally get my phone back and it's just a big dumb brick. I won I wonder if this is where that the that the I want to say father and son live right here take photograph can I zoom I mean I can move the camera around but can I zoom I can't seem to do anything else okay well let's line this up nicely Right there. So is Caitlin a photographer? <laughs> hey, Caitlin. Guess what? Mr. H is a voyeuristic creep. He has hidden cameras everywhere and a secret room. No, that's not... Uh, whoa, now. Back up. What? His eyes are everywhere. He's always watching us. Look it off, man. He, he's just got trail cameras set up. You know, forest surveillance, that kind of thing. Oh. I feel like you it's don't more think than that's that. weird? 
Well, he's got a perimeter to check, kids to protect. You know, probably just to keep track of wildlife. You guys have no imagination. So, uh, what's going on here? Everything ready? I mean, K Caitlin does have a point there. I mean, he, 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 as, as the head of the camp, Chris does have a responsibility for the kids. So, that does make a lot of sense. It's like, it's like, like I said, smart. She's very smart. Oh, rocky Road, with Shady Glade. I wonder, I wonder what's down Rocky Road. Skirting the edges of Shady Glade, Rocky Road is a scenic ramble along the forest's rock faces. A beautiful demonstration of the power of nature and one of the many wonderful secrets that lies in the woods of Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. And Shady Glade. Shady Glade, one of the many woodland walks through Hackett's Quarry, is so named due to the canopy of tall trees that grow there. It makes perfect sense. The dirt path through the floral undergrowth makes for a serene atmospheric walk through nature. And the fire pit. Relax and unwind with a sing-along by the fire pit. Yeah, it's like they could sing Kumbaya. It's like... <laughs> Though they would have to Google it to find out exactly what Kumbaya is first. Uh, situated right on the picturesque lakeside, it's the perfect place to catch up with your bunkmates after a hard day's hacketeering. <laughs> okay. Uh, honest, weird light in the treehouse, frustrated, no service. Uh, yeah, th let's be honest. I, I did see a weird light in the treehouse across the lake. Yeah, that was pretty spooky. Maybe it's your girlfriend, Brian. Mm. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. I told you <laughs> never to say Hag of Hackett's Quarry again. What's wrong with saying Hag of Hackett's Quarry? Are you done? <laughs> you know, I just realized we may never see each other again after tonight. You can't have just realized that. Just trying to set the mood. What mood? The mood, the vibe, you know. Speaking of setting the mood, I have work to do. Okay, because playlists don't make themselves. I mean, I guess they do, but... All right, right guy. Time to get wood. Yikes. Wording. Oh, I know what yeah, I said. Yeah, really. <laughs> Abby, Nick, just in time. We got wood. <laughs> We've already done that joke. It's mostly just kindling. Oh, that's all we need. There's already a big pile of logs here. We could have gotten more, but there was a hog or a boar. But Nick was very, very brave and took one for the team. Yeah. <laughs> the, <laughs> the hog of Hockett's quarry. Hockett? Hackett. Uh, you both okay? <laughs> I so want to say this. Oh my gosh, it can't be. The hog of Hackett's quarry? What? I thought you hated that phrase. <laughs> big jokes take big sacrifices. You're so brave. Except it wasn't the exact same oh, phrase. I just want to shrink you down to little pocket people and put you in my pocket and peep at you when I need a little pick-me-up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh! Special delivery! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Where the hell did that gun come uh, from? Dude, relax, okay? It's not even real. Uh... Well, I uh, mean, it's a real gun, but it's just for shooting bears. We found it in the storage room. Okay, fine. Fine, we'll put it down. Thank you. Guns are no joke, dipshit. And, yeah. and... Sorry. We bring you a hand-picked selection of only the finest that Hackett's Quarry has to offer. No freaking way. Yes, freaking way. Pop, pop, peanut butter, butter pops. Pop, pop, pop them in your mouth. Pop. I didn't even know you could still find these anyway. Oh, hey, hey, cool your jets there, cowboy. All right, these are spoken for. Dude, you can't just shove those in my face and not expect me to want to pop, pop, pop them in my mouth. Come on, Emma. <laughs> Please hand me the shotgun. What, you're gonna shoot me over them? No, dumbass. Okay, we are going to 
shoot, shoot for that. that. Nah, dude. Absolutely not. No. What are they going to shoot? Not leaving you with a gun or n not a great idea. Um, I, it, I honestly don't think it's a great idea. And at the same time, I don't know how I feel about Dylan handling a gun. I mean, not Dylan, Jacob. I don't know why I'm getting people's names mixed up now. Ah, uh, I'm not sure which one to go with. I mean, I don't want to get on everyone's bad side as Caitlyn. So I, I'll go with not a great idea. Okay, as much as I enjoy watching Nick squirm away from a challenge, I don't think this is a great idea. Hey, uh, you know what? Yeah, you're right. Maybe I should just... Uh... Give Nick the butter pops as like an act of charity or something. Fine, you're on. Yeah, boy! <laughs> Jacob, hand me that gun now. I mean, nobody's handling any firearms if you're gonna act like a dick about okay, it. Okay, then you can be the ref. We need an objective third party. Okay, we're trying to get a party started here, Jacob. Okay, well, the main party's not gonna die just because you're off on a little side quest. Come on! All right. Yeah. Guess we're gonna have ourselves an old-fashioned shootout. Yeah. Look, there's a clearing we can use as a shooting range back there, but if I see either of you dicking around, I am turning this car around. Oh, uh. we'll be good. Okay, Mom. <laughs> 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 also, Jacob completely sucker-punched Nick there. Okay, so... <sighs> Just so you know, I was an expert marksman, <clears throat> third class, three years in a row, ranked highest in camp each year. I'm just letting you know that your goose is cooked, Nick, but if you back down now, I might let you just have one little peanut butter butter pop if you're lucky. No way. You've never even seen me shoot. Yeah, that's because you've never shot before. Yeah, not that you know of. <laughs> okay, I think I would know if okay, you'd actually- Okay, boys, I'm gonna have to stop you right there. As much <laughs> as I'm enjoying your charming machismo, the moment we step foot on the shooting range, we're playing by my rules, okay? And what I say goes, got it? Okay, good. Yes, ma'am. Now I'm gonna go set up some targets and get more shells. Do not move a muscle or touch his gun until I'm back. All right, so is it just me? Is it kind of hot when she gets all bossy like that? I'm always hot, pencil Yeah, deck. okay, thank you. Bye, bye. <laughs> so, um, how's your little one-on-one -on -one with Abby in the woods? Uh, how's things with Emma or it was okay? I mean, he seems like an earnest guy, so I want to go with hopeful. It was, it was okay. Hey, boy. So, I mean, what happened? Well, we flirted a little. She's really smart. Yeah? Mm, yeah. I mean, you see the deal? Don't be gross. What, no, 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 hey, look, no sweat, okay? We all get performance anxiety sometimes. You just better make your move oh my God. before a real man swoops in. Well, like you, Jacob. Speaking of, let me show you how a real man shoots his gun. Are you guys seriously still thumping your chest at each other? No, I think he's got brain damage. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, my God. Phrasing. The phrasing. Oh my god. <gasps> oh, my path updated. Hit objective, win the butter pops. <laughs> Honestly, every time they say the name, the more and more I actually want to try these my, my, myself. Uh, but they can't actually be a, an actual thing. Oh, playing with fire updated. Emma said off fireworks while rejoining the others at the fire pit. What what's that what what's gonna be the outcome of that? Of setting off the fireworks. I wonder. Please just give me the gun. Uh uh. You'll have it when I say you'll have it. Alright, huddle up, boys. This is how we're gonna do this. 
You're shooting the one on the left. Nick first, then Jacob's turn. Keep your fingers off the trigger till you're ready to shoot. You got it? Aye, aye. All right. Two things. Remember the spread. Remember the recoil. This is a shotgun. We're not sharpshooting here. The flashlight shows you where you're aiming. Obvs. Combat. I'm sorry to have to say, there may well be times during your stay at Hackett's Quarry where you'll have to defend yourself using potentially deadly force. When engaging in combat, simply aim your weapon and shoot where the flashlight is pointed. Where the flashlight is pointed. If you're up close and personal with your target, you'll do more damage. Of the course. farther away, the larger the spread, and injuries may not be fatal. There's a time oh and God. place for the use of weapons, and you may want to consider all your options. Right. Remember, it's not always wise to pull the trigger. That's how people get hurt. Okay. It's like seeing that these tutorials are actually very wordy. I don't know if I'm going to be able to remember every little detail, but hey, yo, I guess we'll see how I do. Nick, one point. Okay, we're too far back to do any real damage. Let's scooch forward a little and uh, fuck these guys up. Thank you, good. All right, Nick. This time for real. I thought the glass would shatter. Unless it's plastic. Oh, there nice we go. Shot. Not plastic. I'm lucky. It's just all skill. <laughs> there we go. Point to you, Nick. Good job, Nick. Thank you. All right. Let's see what you got. All right, you might want to uh, avert your eyes, Nick. I don't want to give you any more performance anxiety. Uh, all right, all right, just shut up and shoot, Jacob. Huh. I thought you were an ultra elite pro marksman. Yeah, with like a rifle. Whoa, okay, dude, not with this what freaking cannon dude, blaster. That is how you get someone shot. God. Nah, it's okay. You probably would have missed me anyway. Hey. Okay, disqualified for being a dumbass. What? No. Uh. Oh, <laughs> gloating but butter pops theme. I I don't want to gloat. It was just a a friendly challenge. Sorry, Jacob. Better luck next time. <laughs> butter luck next time. Hey, I didn't want to <laughs> say it, but we're both very mean. Blam! We thought this was over. What the? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo, Caitlin! Pop, pop, peanut butter, butter pops. You got a regular uh, Annie Oakley over here. <laughs> All right, what's next? Seriously, the music is so good in this game. Okay. New idea. Party game. Mm. Uh, 
Come on, people, we might never see each other after tonight. Let's make some memories. Well, what do you have in mind? How about the ultimate game of secrets and lies, truth or dare, but Dylan style. Mm. Oh. Dylan style, that makes me a little worried. It's like, <laughs> what kind of rules is he gonna put in, put in play here? Okay, house rules are, someone asks you truth or dare, then you choose, and then you do. And there's no ifs, ands, or buts. So like, normal truth or dare? Yes. So we can like, make people kiss? If they choose dare, yeah. As long as everyone consents, of course. Right. Cool beans. I mean, keep it in your pants until it's your turn, but... <laughs> well, who does get to go first? Well, it's house deals, so... Abigail. Truth or dare? Um... Truth. You really dodged a bullet, huh? Alright, here goes. Have you ever slept with anyone? Ooh. Oh, I, um, I interrupt. Hey, take it easy, man. That's too far. Come that on, I, I'm not finished. That is a little um, too far. Have you ever slept with anyone at this camp? <laughs> no. That's too nope. personal. Sorry. All right, Abby, it's your turn. <laughs> All right, okay. Um, oh, Abby, oh my God, God, just pick someone. Okay, okay. Um, oh, I don't know. Nick? Ugh, ding, 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 too late. My turn. Ryan, truth or dare? Oh God, okay. I'm an open book or give me what you got. Oh God. I only ever played Truth or Dare once in my life when I was a teenager. And I can't remember what happened, to be honest. Uh. Um, give me what you got. Dare. Give me what you got. Okay, Ryan. Your dare comes with a choice. Can't you do that? I can do whatever I want. <laughs> and I dare you to kiss either Caitlin oh. or Dylan. <laughs> I mean, I guess both is off the table. Sorry. I don't make the rules. I mean, you literally <laughs> just did, but okay. Let's do this. Oh my god. Kiss Caitlyn or kiss Dylan. Ooh. <laughs> I mean, how interested is he in Caitlyn? Because I, I can't... I don't know. It's like with the banter that Caitlin and Jacob have, I almost want them to get together. Because they they just kind of give me the vibes of two people who would eventually wind up uh, coming together. Oh, man. That's a hard decision. I kind of want to go the more funny route and have Ryan kiss Dylan. Ooh. Dylan, let's go. <laughs> 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 Always happy to please. Woo! 
<laughs> Was it good for you, Dylan? <laughs> Alrighty, who shall I pick? Well, uh, me and Jacob haven't gotten a turn yet. Good point. Ooh, Caitlin or Jacob? Uh, oh, man. And the, uh, so far, both of them are like the two of my favorites so far. Oh, that such a hard decision. I, I am really wondering what kind of thing he'll make Jacob like do or say. Jacob. All right, Jacob, let's see what you're made of. Oh, there. There, man, come on. Okay. Of course he goes up there. I dare you to take a flying leap over that fire pit. Ooh, no, no, no. Oh, my God, really? He's really going to make... Ryan's really going to make Jacob jump over the fire pit? That is not a good idea. I know someone who tried to do that and failed miserably. Naked. Oh, dude! Fuck yes! Oh, I will jump over this thing. I don't care. Naked? Yeah, oh my I don't god. Think that's a good idea. Oh god. Here we go. No, Jacob. Wait. Don't do it. Stop. She says Dude, with such Vito, a deadpan voice. <laughs> what? No, come on, man, I got this. Fine, come on. Fine, Vito. You know what? Fuck this game. All right, <clears throat> someone else can go. Okay, fine. Then I call your turn. <clears throat> Whatever. Emma. Well, that there. was a bust. Emma, so you have to kiss. Jacob. Jacob, or oh. Nick. Uh. <laughs> hmm. Well then. Um. Uh. Sorry, Nick. This is not uh, even there. Obviously. I don't know if that's a good this. idea. I choose Nick. How does Abigail feel about that? M. <laughs> Seriously. Guys. Yeah, that makes Abigail uncomfortable. Guys! Thank you, Nick. He's good. That's got Jacob riled up. You're like kissing my girlfriend, asshole. It was just a game. Hey, I am nobody's <laughs> girlfriend. The fuck it was. It was just a game. Yeah, the fuck it was, man. Jacob, grow up. Well, I guess I should probably go after him. You should probably go find Abby. Jacob has a lot of insecurities. So, anybody want to play Parcheesi? Parcheesi? <laughs> I haven't played that game in ages. Oh. <sighs> Fuck this. What was that about? Welcome back. I am, as always, delighted that you're here. So, then, what more has been found? You return without any more of my cards. 
Yet you return nonetheless. Why is that, do you think? I can't help you without the cards. I want them found. I want them returned to me. It's like, I got that fortune teller, but... I haven't found any cards. I mean, I've been looking around, but I haven't found any more yet. Please, my friend. That's all I have to say for now. Secrets remain buried and the night grows darker. I'll see you again. You can count on that. Be careful. Where the wolves go... The ravens follow. Okay, so it's a raven she has. Trouble in paradise. Yeah, that kind of happened last time. Chapter 2. Stupid game. What are we in middle school? Why should I even care? Anyway, I can kiss anybody. Stupid. Stupid. Oh. It's like I feel bad for Abigail. It's like she she clearly has feelings for Nick. And for her to see Emma just go full charged and choose Nick to kiss. That that really hurt her. Clearly. It's like she was so uncomfortable with it. So I, I feel really bad for her. It's like, and I feel her feelings are you know, justified here. I mean, the guy she really likes get, gets kissed by another girl. It's like... It, I feel like that's only natural that she would feel this way. And I... I mean, Abigail just seems like a sweet girl, so it's like, to see that happen, it's like, just kind of crushed her heart a little bit. Great. Where the hell am I? Uh, where are you? Where are you? Yeah. Are we in the shady... Glade area again? Yeah, we are. Oh. For a second there, I th thought it switched into a cutscene, but no, it's just a different camera angle. Where am I going? Took everything from you? Who was that? <gasps> you doing okay, Abigail? Oh, hey! Hey, I finally found another tarot card! The tower! The tower, jump free of your troubles. Fight or flight. That's the question we all ask ourselves. But often when leaping out of danger, we're still faced with certain peril. Watch your step. It could be your last. Could be your last. I, f I feel like th this tarot card ties back into uh, that... Uh, Rung of the ladder that was loosened. Uh, it, uh, I, I mean, maybe. Something's here. Something's here. Oh. Who was that? Where am I going? I can't see where I'm going. Uh -oh. Not really. <laughs> Hello? Abby? You out here? 
Nick went after her. Good. Yeah, call back. Nick! Abby? Shout again! I'm over here! I'm coming! Nick! Hey. Hey. Um. Hi. You, uh. Oh. You ran off. What is watching us? That 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 didn't seem like it was like the father and son. What was that? <sighs> Too much smoke or God, little intense. As Abigail, I want to be honest, actually. I think that game just got a little too intense for me. I... Yeah, I know what you mean. One, Emma's kind of an intense person. I mean, sh she's she's very like sh she's very forward. Uh, what happened? Or so you and Emma. Let's be direct with him. Guess Emma's had a thing for you all along, huh? What? No, 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 no way. She was just trying to make Jacob jealous. I was just playing along. Are you sure you about seem that? You to enjoy playing along. Uh, I enjoyed helping Emma make Jacob jealous. That's about it. Do it, do it. There we go. That's what I want to see. For the two of them to get together. <laughs> Nick is falling for you. Good. Did you hear that? Mm -hmm. Yes. Should we look? Mm hmm. Is it the pig again? Or is it something else? What is watching us? This is making me a little nervous. Did it just run away? Huh. Well. Wow. Okay, now I'm thinking that's not a pig. I've. Is it another boar? It's too growly. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Is it a bear? It's too fast. <laughs> Run! Whoa! <laughs> what the? What was that? Oh? Help Nick, help Nick. Nick. Oh my god. Uh, no, 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 get off me, get off me. Like, thank you for whoever is shooting it. Uh, oh, I finally did it. Uh, uh, 
Run. Oh, look at Let me get a good look at you, girl. Let me go. I'm not sure what I'm not exactly sure what that was. Was I supposed to hold? Climb tree? Uh, oh. uh, Dang it. That time I didn't get it. Ah! ah no! Ah, dang it! Ah! These quick time events are really screwing with me. There. It's a fun game. It's not just Jacob's hurting too. Like, like I said, he has a lot of insecurities. You can I feel like this experience for him is just going to eventually go make him mature. Not He's been crying. Oh, it's okay, buddy. Until you no, it's not going to stop. Until you no, it's not going to stop. I don't Technique know. Technique needs work. Hey. Uh, yeah. I guess you found that. I honestly don't know if Emma's the right person to be going after uh, Jacob to talk to him. Uh, the boathouse has everything you need to take t to the water and experience the true beauty of Lake Sept Septimus. Interesting name. Water sports have always been a favorite activity among campers, so grab a boat, row to the island, and see what you can find. Disclaimer, no swimming without supervision. Which is probably a good idea. Pieces of silver. Name your price. Betrayals, betrayal is sometimes merited, but it always comes with a price. It's up to you to measure whether the cost outweighs the gain. Abigail came to Nick's aid when he was attacked in the woods. I mean, by helping him, what's going to happen? Of course. <sighs> Sneaking down here was a little more fun when we thought we could get caught, huh? Yeah, I, uh, I guess. Jacob, I thought we agreed that this, us, was just supposed to be some summer fun. Yeah, no, no. I know, I just... You just love having an audience, huh? Oh, Jacob. I mean, you. I can't believe you, you fucking Frenched him! You know, in front of everyone! Jesus wept! French, are we 12? No, but Nick is. Kind of. What? You know, I love the guy, but I don't think he's actually ever seen a girl naked before. Well, I hate to break it to you, but he just had his tongue down my throat, and he definitely knew what to do with it. <laughs> hmm. You, you really love fucking with me, huh? Lighten up, Sarapus, please. This is not how the night was supposed to go. What? You know what? Nothing. 
No. Nothing. Never mind. Is he eventually gonna spill the Fine. beans that he tampered with the car? You can stand here, sulking. Driving yourself crazy imagining Nick's tongue in my mouth. Oh, come on. Or... Hey, stop it, you Emma. You can go grab us some towels. Towels? What do you need towels for? Well, we agreed. Some are fun, right? Apparently, oh. summer is not quite over. Are we gonna get the obligatory skinny dip scene? Okay. Oh dear. Hello? Are you dead? I mean, it looks dead. Oh, 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 oh. I saw another tarot card. Where? Tarot card, tarot card, where was that? Oh, newspaper. Huh. It's not long ago. North Kill Gazette again. Wonder if it was near here. North Kill Gazette. A recent newspaper article about two hikers who went missing in these woods as the as of the date of publication they haven't been found the search continues for Ann Radcliffe and Edward Benson pictured above who were reported missing four months ago after they failed to return from a camping trip despite multiple Thorough searches of the areas surrounding North Kill, authorities have been unable to uncover any evidence that the two hikers were ever there in the first place. Though a small number of cons conspiratorialists suggest their disappearance could be some sort of government cover-up, most speculate that they fell victim to an animal attack, possibly a bear or a cougar. Local wildlife expert Helen Pratt, however, is certain this isn't the case, as there are too many I inconsistencies when compared with the history of documented attacks. Though it doesn't happen often, when a bear does attack a human, there are usually quite obvious signs left behind. Blood, remains, or torn clothes and belongings. Helen went on to suggest an alternative fate for the missing hikers. The local area can be treacherous if not properly traversed. It is far more likely that Benson and Radcliffe were washed into fast-moving rapids. The families of the missing pair, on the other hand, dismiss these speculations, adamant that Anne and Ed were experienced hikers who always prepared for any, any eventuality when out on the trails. Why do I get the feeling that these two hikers met a brutal end? I mean, like, uh, like from that whatever that was that attacked Abigail and Nick. They remain hopeful that Anne and Edward are still alive and well and urge anyone who may have seen them to reach out and get in touch with any information they may have. Okay, where was that tarot card? Where was that tarot card? Uh, there we go. The star. Oh, it's the star. <laughs> uh, stars, stars. Oh, it's the star. Stars. In the night sky, beacons of light, dreams of hope, purpose, or a reminder of our insignificance, fear of despair. Trust in the light of the star, 
with it comes clarity and sometimes proof. Okay. No swimming without supervision. No swimming sign. Uh, a handmade sign warning people of swimming near the boathouse. How dangerous can a lake be? <laughs> How dangerous can a lake be? Pamela Voorhees would like a word with you. Yeah, we'll see about that. Not to mention Alice. <laughs> yes, I'm making Friday the 13th references. I can't help it. I'm a fan of Friday the 13th. Check it and thack it, huh? Oh, well, check it must mean Mr. H. Chris Hackett. Who the hell is Thackett? Huh. Well, if check it is Chris... Back it. Hmm. A faded camp photograph from the 1970s. According to the name printed below, two of the boys in the picture appear to be Hackett's. I have the feeling that the other boy, that Thackett, T. Hackett, is like Chris's brother. What happened to him? Did he drown in the lake? You know, like Jason Voorhees? There's... There's so many... I... Uh, there's so many references to... Friday the 13th all of a sudden now. Well... No towels. There's no towels. None? There's exactly zero. You dick. God, what the hell? Just it's not my fault. Here, Will do once I look around here. Hmm. What are these numbers? Huh. Is that not a clue? Why is that not a clue? Boathouse logbook. December 3rd, 2016. Oh, no, wait, no, no. March 12th, 2016. I uh, September 24th, 2017. November 3rd, 2019, January 29th, 2021. Manageable, manageable, but sustainable. Sailing rules, reminder for counselors. Keep all boats rinsed after use. Be vigilant, no swimming. Properly store boats to avoid damage. All campers must wear life jackets. If boat capsized, remove kids from lake immediately. Do not jump in after them. Sail over and retrieve from water. That's a very specific rule. Don't jump in after them. Sail over and retrieve them. So don't actually get in the water. And given what we just saw in the lake, that's a cause for concern. Oh, binoculars.
What can we see with the binoculars, huh? Something gonna try and jump scare me here. <laughs> She's all ready to go in. So maybe not quite skinny dipping, it looks like. <laughs> I'm surprised he didn't make any comment at looking at her through these binoculars. Anything? Aside from ogling Emma through the binoculars? <laughs> oh. Oh. Someone up there? Yeah, I'm gonna go with probably everything's fine. Hmm. Okay. Someone was definitely up there. Like either that father or son. Well, back to Emma. Okay, well, I guess we could just, like, drip dry or... You, know, you could shake it out doggy style. <laughs> wow, you really know how to talk to a girl, don't you? <laughs> Look, you can't just pretend that it didn't happen. <gasps> oh, but I can, because... You see, oh, help! Help, I'm... I'm drowning and I... I need a big, strong, not at all insecure man to come save me. Oh my god. <laughs> uh. I mean. I don't want him to be down all the time. So. Cannonball! Okay. What's this? A female in need? Fear not, fragile thing, for Hurricane Shake is here! Cannonball! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Cold, cold, cold. Oh, cold. Oh. Hurricane Jake? <laughs> oh, why not? Oh, okay. Okay, now you're gonna get it. See? <clears throat> <laughs> hey, okay, this is kind of oh, cute. Stop being a uh, splash uh, attack. Jacob, come back up, come back up, come on. Don't stay down there very long. <laughs> Dick move. Why did he do that? Take a photo of me or I don't want this to end. I mean, he's already bling, being flirty with her, so I, and besides, how is she gonna take a photo of him when her phone isn't on her? <laughs> uh, I don't want this to end. Like, I don't want this to end. Hmm. I'd be happy to stay out here all summer, but I think we'd get a little prune. <laughs> oh, you know what I mean. Like, I mean this. Jacob, I had a great summer with you. Well, it doesn't just have to be this summer. <laughs> Jacob. Okay, oh, look, how about this? Um, <clears throat> if I can do a backflip off of here, you let me come visit you, okay? How about that? Right. Hey, where you going? Come on! No, 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 Emma, don't go out very far. No. 
Um. Emma! Jacob! Who's over here! Did you hear that? What? Uh, it was like a, like a scream. And it, it sounded like Abby, but like not the good kind of scream. I can't hear you. Okay, look, just, just hold on. I'm gonna go check it out. What? what seriously? No. Jacob. Stay with that. Uh, stay with Emma. I almost said Abigail. <laughs> uh. I can't believe he just ditched Emma. That was some mighty fine social disruption there, Caitlin, I have to say. Ah, or was it just the nudge that Abby needed? You're an evil genius. Who do you think is going to make the first move? Nick or Abby? Ooh, good cue. My bet's on neither. I don't know. Nick's got the beast in him. Huh. Well. Well. I was playing as Abigail, and I'm the one who chose to kiss Nick. So there. If by beast you mean some sort of mild-mannered baby deer. Hey, don't let the cute, preppy aesthetic fool you. It's like a steel barbecue grill under that shirt. What? So, you noticed that too, huh? So, what do you guys want to do now? We can keep playing. Yeah? Just the three of us? Alright, Dylan. Truth or... Uh-oh. Uh, I sound like Abby. Oh my gosh. We gotta help her. <laughs> Wait, where did it come from? This way. Come on. Abby! Help! Please! Nick! Help him! Alright. Uh, what, what, what happened? Hey! What happened? Abby, what happened? Brian! We gotta know what... Well, she needs help. Give her a second. Go after Nick. Go. Uh, it's. I've got this. I've got this. Okay, I've got this. That shotgun's got a hell of a spread. Be careful. Okay. It's like, uh, Mama Caitlin will take care of you. It's like, she also seems to be the mom of the group. Which I'm completely fine with. Alright. Nick! Where are you, buddy? Uh, take shortcut or follow path. Take shortcut. Oh, God, oh. God dang it. These quick time events are messing me up. Oh, there, there we go. I'm supposed to button mash with that one. Uh, take shortcut. Uh, oh, fuck. Oh, God dang it. I've only managed to do this once. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, there we go. Seems like I have to get it in the. Oh, oh, I, oh, I did the, I did it in the wrong direction. 
that time. Uh... Not gonna waste a shot. Holy shit, dude. Oh man. Gotta, oh, gotta get, get. Can you walk? Okay. Oh, Nick. Come on, we gotta go. Yeah. Come on, let's get back to the fire. He is really messed up. Uh. It's kinda went downhill kinda fast. Jacob, buddy. There's a half naked girl waiting for you back there, Jacob. What are you doing? Yeah, what are you doing? Okay. Go back to Elba. <laughs> oh, I hear the pig. Yeah, pig, 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 pig. <laughs> Or maybe I don't want the pig to come to me. Okay, be careful. Mm, let's not call out this time. No. He calls out anyway. Ah! Whoa! Ah! Was not expecting Whoa. that. Little help here. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Shit. There we go. That really was a button mash. Uh, fuck. Oh. Come on. Little help here. Can you help me now, please? Just don't tickle me. Oh, come on. Uh, please let me down. Oh, please, please, man, just, just let me down, okay? Just don't hurt me, please. Oh, Jesus Christ, what the fuck are you doing? Hopefully get it. he's going to uh, cut him down. Uh, I hope. Thank you. God, son of a bitch. Oh, what are you doing? Shh. Quiet. Uh, throw dirt? Yeah, no. Helps if you close your eyes. Oh, oh. What are you doing? Shh. Stop. No, what? Oh, help. Shh. Help. Tastes bad, don't it? It's for your own good. Okay. It's like, seriously, what is with the blood? Off to now, girly. Okay. Th thank you. What the fuck? Ethan Supley, I believe that is. What the fuck? Huh? Oh, hey. <laughs> That's what happened to the pig. Serves you right, Mr. Pig. Well. Check out my new stuff here real quick. Come on. There we go. Finders Keepers.
Losers Weepers. <laughs> a Matthew Haig film. As you try to survive the night without being coated in blood, you might find help where you least expect it. Whether or not you accept is your choice. Huh. Ryan struggled to navigate through the woods, unfortunately. It's like these quick time events. It's like, especially with it being timed. It, I mean, I, I think I get what I have to do now. I have to get it in within the white in order for it to uh, be good. But the, I swear my timing with that is extremely off. And I feel like that's going to royally screw me over with trying to keep everyone alive. I'm going to try to keep everyone alive, but if these quick time events are going to give me that much trouble, I'm a little worried. Uh, distraction. Giles Woodfill. Uh, safe hunting, kids. Remember the golden rules of hunting. Never distract a hunter. Never make assumptions on what you see and never become the prey. Jacob didn't distract the hunter. And the hunter poured blood over Jacob's face. Yeah, I, I felt like those I felt like those were good choices. It's like the hunter helped helped him. I still don't get w w what the deal is with putting blood all over you. So it's like I, I'm sure that will be explained at some point. The island in the lake was once just an excavated unexcavated section of the central quarry. It it now stands as a pillar of whatever it means to be a hacketeer. Adventure, wilderness, and individuality. And Lake Septimus. Once a beating heart of the quarry, Lake Septimus was named after Septimus Hackett. Oh, someone's name. Who made the decision to foreclose and flood the quarry, paving the way for the beautiful return to nature we see today. Disclaimer, no swimming without supervision. Septimus Hackett. Is that Chris's, like, grandfather? Great-grandfather? I'm guessing grandfather. See, oh, I didn't mean to completely back out there. Well, I think I'll stop here for now. Things are really ramping up now. Uh, it's like, the, I guess the frights begin. <laughs> um, I, I am really curious about the hunters, uh, what their deal is exactly. I mean, they helped, the the younger one helped Jacob, cut him down and poured blood all over his face. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's rather curious what that is about exactly. Uh, but anyway, uh, we'll get back to uh, the fortune teller next time. So I hope you all enjoyed watching and thank you all for watching as well. And if you enjoyed the video and want to see more, like and claw that subscribe button to become part of the pack. And as always, everyone, I hope you all have a wonderful day or night, wherever you may be.